How's it going guys? I hope you're all doing well out there today, wherever you are in the world. It has been a while since we've checked out some gear together. So today it is my pleasure to introduce this pint-sized powerhouse, the Bogner Ecstasy Mini Head. This is a, a solid state 30 watt head and it's their take on the flagship Ecstasy amp that they make. Are you gonna get a full 100 watt Ecstasy head for this kind of money? Absolutely not but it does capture that kind of feel. I own the Bogner blue and red pedals, and it's definitely got that kind of feel, obviously with a 30 watt power amp on the back. Um, this would make a fabulous little amp for home use. I think it'd be loud enough to have uh, jams with your mates or take to rehearsal. Um, it's got an effects loop on the back, so you could tap the return and use this solely as a power amp for things like your Helix or your Kemper. And I think uh, a great use for it as well, which I'm gonna start doing, is this is gonna be my backup amp on the road. I can take it, it's so small and light. Uh, you can take it along to gigs, and if anything happens to your main rig, you can just pull this out, plug it into a cab, and you can get the gig done. I'm sure a question a lot of you will be asking out there is, is it loud enough to gig with? And the truth is, I don't know. Um, I haven't had an opportunity as of yet to take this out um, to a gig and try it. All the gigs I've been doing have been very quick changeovers, so I haven't had time to mess about. Uh, but I will report back to you on its loudness. Uh, and also a loudness thing that everyone forgets is it totally depends what kind of cab you're using. If you're using a 412 with this, you probably could push enough air to gig with. Something smaller, perhaps not, and it's also the efficiency of the speakers, blah, blah, blah. But I will report back on its overall volume in a gig situation. Now you've got a nice selection of controls on the front. You've got your normal gain, bass, middle, treble, and presence, and you've got a volume control. Uh, then you've got some switches along the top here. So you've got the bright control, which um, like I said, features on the Bogner blue and red pedals and also the amp. And it's like a pre-brightness control, which I find extremely useful because I prefer a brighter sound going into the amp uh, for rolling off and things like that, and then making it slightly darker at the amp. Uh, you've got a mid frequency control here, which shifts where the mid is. In the middle, you've got normal, then you've got low and high, depending on where your mids are in the frequency spectrum. Then you've got a gain switch, which gives you a lower gain option and a higher gain option. And then you've got a variac switch, which simulates that drop in voltage a bit more sag. So for this demo, I am running into an IR of a Greenback 412 cab, but I'm keeping the volume at what I'd call reasonable home volume. Although because it's a solid state power amp, the sound doesn't change that much as you turn it up. And also the tape is really nice on the volume all the way around. So it's very controllable if you were gonna use it at home. These are the settings that I had for that intro clip. I was using my Sir Classic Pro S and a bit of TC flashback in the loop. I think this captures um, that kind of signature Bogner sound, which is a really sort of present low mid. It sounds very full and thick. Uh, and it sounds a bit like this. I'll take you through so, some sort of favorite settings and then at the end I'll play a loop so, and tweak all the knobs so you can see the travel of everything. But for now, this is what it sounds like with these settings. <laughs> Like I said, really clear but full and fat mid. So let's have a listen to some of the little switches. So this is the pre-bright control. So if you listen, if I put it in neutral, it gets darker. Bright one is a little more brightness at the input. And then B2 is even more brightness. And the beauty of that bright control is it obviously lets you dial it in for a particular guitar, uh, but also on cleaner settings, you don't want, well, I don't want the brightness. I want it a bit more, um, a bit more tame in the top end. So it's easy to turn the bright switches off for the lower gain stuff and on for the higher gain stuff. Uh, showing off the mid frequency uh, control. If I turn the mids all the way up, you'll get a better idea of this. So this is in the neutral position. In the low mids. 
I think in that lower position, that's more what I think of as the Bogner kind of mid-range. Uh, and then the higher mids. Uh, and then you've got the lower or higher gain option. We're currently on the higher gain option. Lower gain option. So reduces uh, some saturation and also gives you nice usable gain all around. You can get a decent clean sound out of this as well. Uh, so I'll put it back on the high mode now. And then you've got the Variac switch, which adds that sort of sag in power, uh, reminiscent of the Eddie Van Halen trick of lowering the voltage, getting a bit more juice out of it. Uh, you'll notice as I turn it on, the amp does drop in volume, which is natural. So you'll, I'll turn the volume up a bit to compensate. <laughs> So it's really a feel thing, but the, the bottom end loosens up a little bit when you turn the Variac on as well. So between all those switches, you've got a vast uh, selection of tone shaping and depending on, like I said, your guitar or your personal preference, I'm sure you can dial in something that you like. So I've dialed in a bit of a cleaner sound now. We're in B1, we've got the lower mid range and the low gain Variac is off. Uh, this amp won't go super duper clean, but this is a nice kind of uh, edge of breakup type tone. <laughs> off the heavier side of this amp I've grabbed my Les Paul dialed in a bit more of a high gain thing with a nice thick mid-range uh, but still a lot of clarity on top without being too spiky <laughs> I'm now going to set up a bit of a loop and just go through all the controls individually so you can see how much sweep they've got. Thank you. 
So that was a look at the brand spanking new Bogner Ecstasy mini head. Uh, I've been really impressed with the tones out of it. It's a cracking little amp just to have around, like I say, for jamming around the house, jamming with friends. Uh, as a backup amp, you can use it as a power amp. There's all kinds of uses. Um, for the money, can you really go wrong? I don't think so. Uh, cracking little amp. Thanks for hanging out with me today and checking out the sounds. And I hope to see you again in another video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, share if you feel obliged, and I'll see you real soon. Cheers, guys. Yeah.